Chapter 13, The Gendered Body. Although considered personal and private, the body is a social artifact that reflects values and symbols of the society. In this society, whether one is male or female, the ideal is created through the male gaze. Breasts and weight are key issues for women, resulting in anorexia nervosa and bulimia. The focus on thinness is expanding beyond white middle-class girls to working-class and black women, as well as women in Japan. As women's expectations of size have gotten smaller, men's have gotten larger, with a focus on muscles and appearance of strength, especially when such attributes are not required by their job. This has resulted in eating disorders being experienced by men as well. Both males and females are engaging in different ways to change their bodies, often through surgical procedures to attain the ideal. Transgender individuals also again engage in alterations, that is, sex change operations, because they believe their external body or gender differs from their internal gender identity, which is called gender dysphoria. Sexuality is also related to gender differences and inequality, which is defined from a male perspective that established the double standard of men enjoying and wanting sex more than women. The representation of sexuality in society is also defined from a male perspective, such as pornography, which is defined by male fantasies and, as feminists suggest, perpetuates a masculine sexual perspective. The sexual division of labor is learned and maintained throughout our lives, often through peer pressure and social fear. Women are afraid of being seen as sluts and men as not masculine enough or, in the situation of erectile dysfunction, not masculine at all. In response to erectile dysfunction, we consider the penis a machine that needs Viagra to work better, ignoring the actual causes. One change we are seeing is that women are becoming much more similar to men sexually, in part because of technological and educational changes. As a result, similarities abound, including desire, frequency, partners, masturbation, and even what turns men and women on. With increased sexual expression by women, however, there is a backlash to control sexual behavior in society, including high rates of sexual assault against women. Consider also that among homosexuals, the same gender expectations exist for both partners, thus exaggerating gendered sexual practices. Regardless of stereotypes about gay men and lesbians, they generally conform to the ideals of men and women, regardless of sexual orientation. A key difference between gay and lesbian and heterosexual relationships is that gay and lesbian relationships tend to be more egalitarian, although still impacted by homophobia. It should be noted that HIV altered the sexual practices of gay men who had to learn how to have safe sex while still being masculine. Men still are predominantly at a higher rate of contracting HIV because of their risk-taking behavior. But women's and men's health practices are changing as women engage in riskier behaviors and men become more active in pursuing healthy behaviors. Overall, however, whether through body image, sexuality, or health, gender shapes our understanding and interaction with our body.